Okay, now we decided to place that this patient needs an, an a gastric tube, nasogastric tube or orogastric tube. So how are we gonna decide what type? Are we gonna use, uh, are we gonna go for NG tube or OG tube? Are we gonna go for small French or large French? diameter wise are we gonna use a soft one or a rigid one this will depends on the indications and the indication as I said you decide now that we need this tube and you run the contraindication you why the patient doesn't have does not have any contraindications you talk to the patient, explain to him about that and he's agreeing or to the family and they are agreeing about the procedure. Now, you need, are you going, are we going to use it for nutrition, water and medications purpose only? Are we going to use it for suction or lavage? Or both for example you want to use it for this and but you don't wanna, you think the patient will need nutrition after you his let's say small bowel obstruction resolve if you're gonna use it only for this reason for nutrition water and medications use please small French soft tubes and in practical life, let's say in my hospital, nurses usually hey, put an NG tube, unless you specify to them what kind of a tube, they will decide on their own. And some of them know these details, some of them they don't. So it's better to know and tell them exactly what to do. So small fringe, small diameter, soft tubes, and preferably post pylorus position, because the distal the tube the less risk of aspiration now the fact really the real life practice it's it's hard to it's not hard but practically what the what we care about that making sure the tube is in the stomach if you are meticulous enough and you want to push it all the way to the post pylorus do it this is for small now for suction and lavage you have to use large French large diameter rigid tube and the preferred position is pre pylorus because the risk of irritation and trauma is less compared to the post pylorus the possibility of reaching duodenal mucosa and causing injury to that now if you want to use for both use the large one because these ones can be used for nutrition as well if you don't like to switch back because let's say somebody has this for suction or lavage and instead of putting a new one for nutrition you still can use this one but the opposite is not true. You cannot use the small French soft tubes for suction and lavage. So this is the first thing. The second thing you need to design, are you going to go for NG or OG? And I think we explained if the patient is alert, go for NG. Here you have to be sedated. Also for sedated, you can use NG as well as we explained before all right let me show you this one this is one of the uh, types we have I think this is called Levine tube if I'm not mistaken but it doesn't matter uh, you don't need to know this brand but uh, this is one type you see there's fenestrations here and there is single lumen here this is um, again depends on the French and rigidity you kind of decide because I think they come in different size and different rigidity 
Um, this one, I think one of the most common one, I think the brand name called Salem, some, something like that, but it doesn't matter. But you see, there is more than, I think this is the most common one you will see in the hospitals. It comes in different colors, but there is more than, there is double lumen here. Uh, there are some other tubes they come in and in, in triple lumen and uh, usually this the blue one is the ventilator if i can say it's usually kept open to the air to the atmospheric pressure and kept above the patient's stomach level um as well to i think to reduce the reduce the vacuum effect of the tube this again this looks big and rigid and again, uh, that's what you use for um, suction and lavage. Um, so give me an example. I mean, in your hospital, you may see different types. This is, I think, one called, um, I think, Dobhoff tube. As you see, this is a small one, small diameter, small fringe. And uh, as you see, small fringe here. And this is a type where it has this kind of opaque material so it can be easily identified on the x-ray and these tubes sometimes they put a stylus uh, to kind of direct their insertion and then you remove the stylus after that but this is as you see this is small and soft so this should be only for nutrition so if only using for nutrition uh, water medication please use such types small types of tubes so you may see different other types in the hospital this is mainly what you will see in most hospitals hopefully it's clear to you how to pick the right one for nutrition medications water small soft for suction and lavage or post-op uh, for general surgeons because they need it for suction as well they use larger diameters and rigid more rigid tubes